Yeah. Welcome to Western Combat 101, where we're going to show you guys some of the fundamental moves you can use to fight off any attackers that are coming your way. This is my co-instructor, Herm Hermison. I'm Jones West, and after taking this course, you're going to know the need to knows of combat. Let's start this bitch up, shall we? All right. You always want to remove any article of clothing that you may have on your body that's weighing it down. In my case, it's my jacket. I need the headband on my head for maximum, maximum knee injuries. As you can see, we've got two typical east siders. First thing, let's address this illegal immigrant that's here in our country taking our jobs. He's smoking reefer, as you can see which I like a good old smoke myself from time to time. But this is really pushing me to the boiling point. So I'm gonna have to say, you know, one of those Oakleys, weak. Hold down. Now, what was the move that I used to do that? I'm gonna bring it for you. It's gonna be a slow motion forward fist. It's important to forward fist it because that leads most effectively into the back wrist, which us Westerners are so aptly known for. Now you can see I completely fucked up this guy's neck and his lower face. I probably shouldn't have led with such a strong move. Let's say you have, you're standing in line. You look over, ah, uh, there's an illegal alien standing behind me. What do you do? Well, you're gonna lift your arm right into his chest. Right there, that's where the contact's made. Right into his face. Second point of contact, right into the groin. Third point of contact. It's important to make these moves. This is how you initiate dialogue with Bully. Back in the day, I was known as the uh, spinning tiger lion fist. All right, and uh, I got that name from my special move. I'll demonstrate it now on. Uh, now this has taken a lot of damage already, so just keep that in mind. I'm trying to imagine a fresh illegal. Alright? So what you do is you, you distract them, you give them some of this. They're like, whoa, what, what, what the fuck is that? How do you even come at that? Right? So there you go. And then right there, they're done. You ended their life. Alright? This will sever the spinal cord completely, and the neck should just fall right off the shoulder. Um, all right, so a move that can maximize your capabilities in a fight is what I call the uh, the mantis fist. Okay, so you give him one of these, you cock up with the shoulder, and then yeah, boom, right there. Now you guys might not have seen it, but I just hit him twelve times. It was real quick, so uh, we're gonna play that back for you. <laughs> All right, so now if you're hunting one down with your PAB, right, uh, most of them might have, so he'll be holding him from the shoulders here, right, and you don't want to injure your bro, but you do want to make sure this guy is erectile dysfunctional after this is all over. God, bro. So we're really tight. You go into my leg. Right there. I don't know if you saw any of that, but it was crazy. It was like 90 degrees, right to the groin. Done. And that ends the bloodline. I don't even got a hold of him anymore. Now he's just standing from rigor mortis. You're just gonna come up and you're just gonna fucking pull Nelson. Okay. Got a little, oh, good little bit of the paper cut, it's all right. Flesh wound. We're just gonna go. Give him a little bit of this, a little bit of these. Claw. No, yeah. No, watch, watch the. Devastating. The form. And that's how it's done, boys. Let's talk about some counters you can do. 
So let's say you're in a battle. Right. Right. So let's say you're in a combat situation. I'm 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 an east sider right now. Mm -hmm. He's gonna, I know it's hard to pretend. He's gonna swing and you're gonna wanna counter back with him. Right? You're gonna wanna do some of that. And then he's gonna swing again, you're gonna counter again, and then you're gonna bop, bop. You're gonna give him a good old bop, bop, bop. So you can't hit through the through the bop. To the point of the counter. See, that was a tactical dodge. These are all moves that you can figure out on your own. Just See, watching these the sides, they're, they're pathetic. They, uh, they no. don't have much form to them, they're just kind of yeah. loose feet. They'll come at you. Right, they're gonna... So, uh, a good way to you know combat the loose wrist is to just go in their stiff style. And, and then, then you're gonna rip. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to allow Jones to demonstrate on myself here the kettle pow. It's one of the most deadliest moves on the west side. It's about 40 strikes in half a millisecond. You ready for this? All right, Jones, whenever you're ready. Oh. That, was 40, that was 40 strikes in half a millisecond. It happened so fast. <laughs> you don't understand how hard it is to count while moving at these speeds. So it might not be precise, but we do know that it is approximately 40. I'm going to try to do the move myself and uh, see if we can get a different perspective on this. Who's got my breath back to be? So yes, that has been Western Defense with Westside Jones and our boy Herm Herm, Herm Hermanson. Hurt Herm Hermanson. You know you got to keep it West. You got to keep the best. Um, I hope this can help you. If you encounter someone who's, you know, they're depressed, they're going through hard times, or maybe they're just coming to you with emotional needs, you just gotta look them in the eye and go, you gotta bury that shit deep down. You don't bring that up. Bag, bag, and then you kill them. Dead. Thanks for watching, folks. Hopefully, you do good in all your encounters.